I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Facebook is apparently testing a feature called Send a Wave. It allows people to send their nearby friends a waving hand emoji to say hello and help them meet up. And if you ignore your waving friend, well, they can poke you to get your attention. You'll like this one. Two babies were born in a South Carolina hospital in rooms right next to each other. The parents of the respective babies have never met, and their babies were born just 18 hours apart. The babies' names? Romeo and Juliet. No kidding. Morgan and Edwin Hernandez welcomed Romeo into the room at 2.06 p.m. Sunday. Then, 18 hours and 8 minutes later, Christiana and Alan Shiflett announced the delivery of Juliet. The baby's names had been chosen long before they were born, but after the coincidence was realized, the parents called a photographer in to take pictures of the babies laying side by side. Romeo's mother says it's funny because we didn't even name him Romeo after Shakespeare. We named him after a singer named Romeo Santos that my husband and I both love. Juliet's mother said we had picked the name out months ago. We wanted a J name to go with our son's name, Jonas. We picked Juliet because we were watching the TV show Psych and the character's name is Jules. Sears and Kmart might not have enough money to stock their shelves. The company that operates the department store chain warned this week that it faces substantial doubt about its ability to stay in business unless it can borrow more and tap cash from more of its assets. Hey, you know what? They should go to Walmart, buy a bunch of cheap stuff, and stock their shelves with that. There you go, problem solved. White House spokesman Sean Spicer's press conferences have become must-watch TV, with ratings that sometimes even beat soap operas like The Bold and the Beautiful and General Hospital. Plus, the acting at the press conferences is a lot more believable. English teachers are shaking their heads in dismay. Only 43% of U.S. adults read at least one book of literature last year that is, novels, short stories, poetry, or plays, making a three-decade low, according to a report from the National Endowment for the Arts. It is the long, steady decline of literary reading, laments the Washington Post. The NEA has been tracking adult reading and arts participation since 1982, when the literature reading rate was an impressive 57 percent. The survey counts only those books read for pleasure, not because they were required for work or school. In an attempt to capture the broadest possible range of leisure reading, there was also no distinction made between physical books and books read on e-readers, such as the Amazon Kindle. We do read tweets, though. How about you create pretty pictures of War and Peace and then send out the entire novel, 140 characters at a time? Payless shoe stores are said to be getting ready to file for bankruptcy as soon as next week. Perhaps allowing people to pay less isn't such a great business strategy after all. If you want to be happier, cancel your Facebook account. That's the conclusion from a Danish think tank that insists quitting Facebook will not only make you happier, but also less angry, less sad, and less worried. The Happiness Research Institute in Copenhagen, Denmark, found that after only seven days away from Facebook, those users reported feeling happier, less sad, less worried, less angry, and less depressed. For more information, you can read the whole article on my Facebook page. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. This episode is made possible in part by my Patreon supporters. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar.